Morning guys, so I've come to Croom Court in Worcestershire today. It's around about four miles from where I live and uh, the conditions are really still, a little bit misty and cold. Um, I'm not really here to do any landscape photography today. Uh, I'm actually coming here to photograph some of the coed stone statues which litter the estate itself. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a list of subjects I want to shoot uh, and today my treatment is gonna be purely black and white uh, because of the conditions and hopefully I'm going to show you a few of those images um, as I get to the statues, uh, show you what they look like, their position within the landscape, and then I'll show you my uh, treatment and interpretation of them. So uh, join me on this little adventure. <laughs> and my first subject for uh, the Kuwait sculptures I want to photograph is a statue of Pan from the Greek mythology. And then that will be followed by a statue of a druid, if I can find it, um, which will then hopefully take me on to the third subject, which will be a stone face uh, in a dry arch. Now, I think the stone face is representative of the Green Man and the Green Man mythology, but uh, I can't be certain on that one. And then my final subject for this little trip will be the stone statues of the Sphinxes, which um, guard the entrance to Croom Court itself. Um, and that'll be my final shot for the day. Um, but yeah, I'm just working my way up to the Oriental Bridge, and then past that, on up to the, uh, the Pan statue, which is on the very north end of the actual estate. So I'll be back shortly. What is code stone? Technically speaking, code stone, as it's come to be called, was not stone at all, but a ceramic produced in the 18th century by Eleanor Code. Its exact formula ingredients for its composition have been lost for nearly 300 years. It was not until the end of the 20th century that the real composition of the material used was rediscovered and successfully reproduced. Code stone is twice fired and is made up of 10% of grog, 10% of crushed flint, 10% of fine quartz or sand, 10% of crushed glass, and 60% ball clay. It is then fired in a kiln at a temperature of 1100 degrees Fahrenheit for around four days. Although not invented by Eleanor Code 1733 to 1821, she likely perfected both the clay recipe and the firing process. Eleanor was a pioneer and businesswoman who sold artificial stone to front rank architects of her day. She was best known for manufacturing neoclassical statues, architectural decorations and garden ornaments and was arguably the most successful businesswoman of the 18th century. Hi guys, so I found my first subject which is the Druid. Um, I am, I've taken a couple of shots already. Um, it's very busy here now today, there's a lot of people uh, milling around and uh, a lot of public. So it's a bit awkward, difficult to grab a shot as when you can uh, and obviously video is even more troublesome. But uh, just so you can see, there he is behind me, the Druid. That's the first subject captured, so on to the next. Okay, so I'm now making my way to the dry arch um, with the face in the arch itself. And like I said, I think this is a reference to the green man from uh, old English law, but uh, I'm not sure. If anybody knows more, please let me know about it. But uh, I'm just gonna approach the arch now and uh, get some ready for my shot. So guys, I've uh, finally found the Statue of Pan. I've been walking around the estate for probably uh, two or three hours and this guy is really well hidden. Um, so I'm quite pleased I've actually caught him. Um, I've got him on camera. Uh, I've got some nice uh, black and whites I think of this. I think it's gonna turn out quite nicely. Uh, I'll put them on screen for you to take a look at. 
Uh, this really leaves me with my last subject to shoot today, which is the Sphinxes. Uh, and these are flanking the actual Kroom house itself, which is around about uh, a mile walk from my location. Um, so I'm going to get going with that and um, I'll bring you with me and I'll show you my final shot for today. And uh, I hope you enjoy. So speak to you in a minute too. So guys, this is the, the, the front of the house with the two stone sphinxes, which uh, guard the entrance. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my shots and uh, I'll show you the black and white treatment of them in a few moments. Thank you for joining me on my little vlog today. Um, I hope you've had an interesting time having a look at the stone sculptures like I have. Um, there's a quite a few more here which I actually haven't photographed today. Um, there's probably around about half a dozen, maybe a few more than that, um, scattered around the park. Um, but the ones I wanted today really were the Druid, uh, Pan and the Sphinxes. They're the, the key ones which I wanted to get. So if you've enjoyed my little vlog, um, I would love any comments, suggestions and feedback. Um, please put them in the comments below. And if you really like what I'm doing here, please subscribe and uh, I'll keep the videos coming. So until the next time guys, thanks so much. Take care.